Mm. But the new date's better though. What, July 19th? I said it last time, you lot didn't clock on, but it's my birthday. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, I hear that. I hear that. No, you didn't even hear that. I hear, I hear, it. hear that. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. Do you know what? Every time on um, H's birthday, you know when you always get like the Snapchat memories and that, like, mm. there was one like four years ago, I think, where in, uh, in the studio, the one across the road, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we would just pop in like <laughs> bottles and that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. I remember. I remember. I was like, oh, if you only look at H now, <laughs> we're going to be. Right? <laughs> Uh, we're, we're popping water now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seamoss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seamoss yeah, yeah, yeah. now. Seamoss and that. Yeah, man. Hold down my door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bigger up, bigger up, bigger up. <laughs> but yeah, it's doing a number on us. Um, I'm hearing that Boris is going to speak again um, about easing the restrictions on July 5th. Okay. But I'm just like, what's going on? It's a money play. I just don't, like, I'm genuinely fatigued because, like, borders are open. But we've got all these mad variants that like they're saying are flying around, like Delta thing. Yeah, it's just it's all a lot of conflicting messaging. So apparently, the NHS are bracing for another wave. So with the amount of um, infections that they've had recently, yeah. apparently, lift like, your mic for me a little bit. There you go. You're good there. All the signs are heading to the fact that we're going to have another wave, and I think they were. All this stuff was leaked, of course, but I think they were pointing towards like another lockdown towards the end of the year. That's what I always thought it was going to be. It's like they can't really keep us inside in the summer, so they're gonna act, they're gonna let us out because they know people are gonna do them anyway. Yeah, knowing that we're probably gonna go in another semi lockdown towards the end of the year because we've been outside more and infection rates have gone up and stuff. But a lot of people have actually been vaccinated. Yeah, a lot, a lot more people now actually thought this way. You can't listen to social media too much. A lot of people have been vaccinated. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. Like, um, especially in terms of getting the first vaccination. Yeah, bro, like. It, it's uh, the majority of the country have had it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But like, they're also saying that the Delta variant has also, you know, hospitalized people who have had, been yeah. fully vaccinated. Okay. So. None of it makes sense, didn't they? And I'm like, them? wow, isn't this like to prevent <clears throat> getting but it, there? It mm-hmm. does in essence. It's like. It doesn't stop you from what the vaccine is supposed to do is reduce the risk the, of it killing you. Yeah. So how reduce the severity yeah. of yeah. the illness, but it's not going to stop you. It's not going to stop you from getting it. But didn't they have like 60,000 people at Wembley the other day for, I don't know exactly, but there are definitely thousands of people. Now. Yeah. I don't think there was 60, uh, I don't think it was 60,000. I think confusing. So that it came out today that they're the final for the final. Oh, there we go. Yeah. They're, they're going to have about 60 to 65,000. If they do that, but that's in like four weeks time. But still, if they do that though, all the people that have events like the nightlife space, um, all the people like Andrew Lowe Webber who are getting it, <laughs> it up in arms in regards to theatre and stuff, have they not got a leg to stand on in regards to having their sector open up? Like, yeah, because it's not going to be of that magnitude, especially like if you're talking from a theatre perspective. Yeah, it's not going to be. I, d- I don't know if there's a theatre out there that can hold sixty thousand people. No, no, that we is just, a lot. We just want to go and see Wicked one time, cheeky date night. Mm. You know. Yeah, yeah. Even all the Cheeky football hooligans that were out the other day. Say that again? Like, was it the England and Scotland, Scotland game? Scotland, yeah. Yeah. You just think stuff like that, that's 100% going to, let me not say 100%, but I feel like stuff like that would have an impact are on you, the amount of people. Were you saying you were going to get the Scottish variant? The Iron Brew variant. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so ridiculous. You're asking for Willie. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, yeah, I'm with you. I think even... Even if it doesn't actually have an effect, I feel they'll definitely use that. So that footage of all in outside Leicester Square, the, the guy sliding on his belly in the rain, all of that. The Donny getting um, knocked over by the moped. But he was waved. He was so waved. The Donny was so... I don't, I don't know how the guy on the moped didn't like swerve him. Bro, but it, it all happened so slow. Like, yeah. It was mad. Yeah. But they will use that and be like, okay, cool. Rates have gone up. You know, you've got people from Scotland coming down and thousands of people. So that's why some so people nice. like... Whilst they're letting us out, live your life, do what you need to do, and then if they lock us down again towards the end of the year, we're just kind of playing this kind of like revolving door in out in out, you know. Clink clink to my yeah. content. Yeah. Well, I mean, particularly in our space, the other big news is obviously the confirmation of Notting Hill Carnival twenty twenty one not going ahead. Was anybody surprised? <laughs> no, um, not surprised, not at all. So this is what they said. They released yeah, a statement. That's the one. They released a statement saying. 
um, after lengthy consultations with our strategic partners, our advisory council and individual participating bands and sound systems, the board of Notting Hill Carnival LTD, the organizing body of Notting Hill Carnival has decided that this year's carnival will not be on the streets due to the ongoing uncertainty and risk um, COVID-19 poses. This has been incredibly difficult, um, an incredibly difficult decision to make. Everyone involved in, in the event desperately wants a return to the road where Carnival belongs, but safety has to come first. And with the latest cautious announcement on the government's roadmap, this is the only way to ensure that. In making the decision, we have considered our responsibilities to deliver a safe, spectacular, successful and sustainable Carnival. The conclusion um, is that with so much uncertainty, with time short for Carnivalists to prepare and the risk of eventual cancellation a real possibility we must refocus our efforts for 2021 um, as in 2020 we are working towards alternate events that will allow everyone to safely celebrate everything Notting Hill Carnival stands for more details on all of this as well as special events leading into the August bank holiday weekend will be announced in due course um, going forward we'll be looking with um, we'll be working with carnivalists towards the greater the greatest ever Notting Hill Carnival for 2022. Um, yeah, so <sighs> no one should be surprised first and foremost because if you think about the numbers that Carnival does over that weekend, would say like 1.5 to 2 million people across that weekend. 2 million across both. 2 million across both, both weekends. weekends. That's insane, bro. Like it's not, it's, it's not gonna run. It's not feasible to run people are then going to have their comparisons with the football hooligans that we saw the other day over, um, over the weekend. But it's not the same. In terms of like the numbers and stuff, it's like, that will send us into the dark ages. If you can't control <laughs> everything right now, that's going to send that bro, we're never making it out of the hood. But that, we'd be at carnival and someone asks you, how'd you get COVID? Yeah, buy a wine. Fam. Do you know how many variants that will come out <laughs> from that oh, carnival so, weekend? Yeah. Like that, my only issue is, and I'm sure like we're probably on the same page, is that there's been moves and rumblings and them trying to stop carnival mm. for years. So this is what the second year. Yeah. yeah. So now, if you've had two years of no carnival, obviously fingers crossed, positive vibes for next year. If they were able to get a third year, I feel like even two. Two is enough for them to. I'd be you know. surprised if it comes back. As much as I love Carnival, I'd be no, I think very it will surprised if we have it next year. But the capacity, like the how big it is, there will there will be a reason to. Like try to put it in Hyde Park or something. Impossible. Yeah, it's not the. Yeah. It's it's a street part. It has to be mm. on the road. Yeah, it yeah. has to be. Because I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this year something's gonna take place. In in what regard? Who knows? <laughs> Read between the lines. Ominous. <laughs> He's, what he's saying is the man are going to be outside regardless. <laughs> no, but you know what it was like last year? That was last how year. Heavy, how heavy shook. they were. Yeah, how heavy the police were in Grove. Yeah, yeah no, I hear that. Police West was here. Bro, it was crazy. Like, like, <laughs> all up Harrow Road. It fam, ridiculous. like, it was, and, and it was weird, obviously, like, um, being from this side of town, knowing that mm. when it comes to a certain day, everyone starts boarding up their shops, which some were doing but some didn't. People, yeah, but some didn't. Mm. And you'd see like the railings um, all across up Labbert Grove, Port is... Bello, Westbourne, uh, okay. Westbourne Park and that. Like you just didn't see any of that. Harrow Road, was it was just quiet. But there was heavy police presence just to ensure that no one will try a little independent. <laughs> what? PC party. Smith, I wish a nigga would. <laughs> no, bro, like, it, it was mad, but like, People ain't gonna hear it, man. Mm. You think it would be difficult to police this time? Yeah, this time because before there's still a the fear factor in it. Yeah, not just the police of COVID itself. Yeah, do you COVID fatigue is real. So yeah. I don't know what magnitude, but I do feel someone's gonna hold a little sign, especially with all that these side roads being locked off, all these flower pots. If you got a road up, a lot of cars don't go down anyway. Bro, People are gonna, gonna do that thing on their oh, road. Yeah. Bro, do you know how many fucking street parties have happened in the ends just the past fucking week with all this yeah. the sun out and that? Yeah, yeah, Allegedly, yeah. is what I heard. Yeah, mm. apparently through the grapevine. Yeah, mm, one of them ones. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Like, I mean, and it's it's. I was speaking to someone I used to work with. Um, she works closely with uh, Rampage, 
and um, you know, being in these meetings and ensuring that you know you have to cover every type of angle to kind of see if it's even a possibility mm-hmm. to to have it on. Because if you talk a lot, um, if you talk to the people that are having all these sound systems, you know, people that are playing mass bands and all that, like it takes yeah, it's a not long that. time in planning. Yeah. And you know what? There's no insurance as well. Like um, she was saying that um, event insurance doesn't cover anyone if rules get changed again. Like, you know, small community groups can lose money. Everyone who delivers are not corporate people who can bounce back financially. So you've got to think about all of these factors. Like, Mm. because I think everyone sees the headline. There's not going to be carnival. Yes, there's going to be disappointment. Everyone is upset that we ain't going to have a carnival, but use your brain in it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's not feasible. <laughs> you sound like such an African Shit. dad. It's true you, though. You, you use your head. It's true, bruv. Like you think that man ain't trying to listen to a little something that will... Essence. You know. Oh, so you back? Well, so confused. You back? <laughs> I'm back. I'm back, <laughs> bro. Man, like giving him his mm, I can't believe mm, it. Look at you. Come on, man. Man, started doing yoga and now he's back. See when this comes on. I oh, don't do this, bro. Don't oh, do YouTube minutes. Oh God. <laughs> I miss it. Hey. 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 Do you know what, yeah? Like, listen, all the soca enthusiasts are going to come at me, bruv. Yeah. Because in the past, you know, I've been like, yeah, I'm not really a soca don, but you see when Carnival, like... Yeah, that's it's different. It's a different story. Are you call a proper word to soca? What? What kind of question is that? I'll just double check your credentials on it. Let's make sure. Bro, <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have to ask you, H. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah. I'm out here, man. I'm out here. I've been out here. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> that energy's new over there, yeah. No, honestly, bro, I can't go two years in a row. Without, yeah, you know what I mean? in it. He's getting the shakes in it, bro. It's mad. That, Fram, that I did, bro. I, I, I've never missed it. This is now going to be two years in a row. Yeah, yeah. It's like telling me we're going to stay in the same year for time. Yeah, it has a deeper meaning than knowing it. Like, you know. basically, especially yeah. what today mm-hmm. was the <laughs> wind rush. Animation. Yeah, happy wind rush day. Yeah. Happy um, wind rush day. Um, shout out to that community that came over and like you know changed the landscape of this country. Yeah, they did a lot, man. Massively. Yeah. Uh, we owe a lot to 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 that generation, man. Like, and you don't even have to be from the islands to to acknowledge to appreciate that, that yeah. and no, to appreciate. Literally that. paved the way. Like, honestly, they helped rebuild the country. They, they saw helped, them a dream of coming over after the war. And and beyond that, yeah, you know, after after rebuilding this country, they did a lot a lot more in cultural influence to to what we and enjoy faced today. A lot of oppression as well. Yeah, absolutely, man. You know, so. Um, yeah, salute, salute to the Windrush generation. Like, and there's there's still people that from that generation that hasn't been compensated. Mm. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there's still a lot of people that are still waiting to reclaim their 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 rights to be here. It's mad, even though like you shouldn't have to because essentially you're from the mother country because it's part of the British Empire, which is what you told at the start. So. Hey man, this 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 mad game, this political game, you know, playing people's lives and that is, uh, yeah, it's a sad state of affairs. But yeah, just got to shout them out, man. The, cult, the cultural impact is 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 for me what spins me. Such a small part of the world, but like the influence spreads far and wide, isn't it? Far and wide, um, yeah, like on a global scale, yeah. Not even just in one place. Like, I'm referring to all the islands because yeah. like, you know, of yeah. course Jamaica's the dominant one, the one that uh, all of us will reference, but like, influence from a lot of the islands is, is mad, you know? Yeah, so it's, um, it's, 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 a, it's a time to obviously celebrate that culture yeah. and it's, it's bittersweet as well, like, because I know that there was a lot of people that were, because we missed last year's carnival, they were banking on this year to, mm. to cut true in it mm. because we didn't know that the the pandemic would last this long remember when remember they said it meant to be for like three weeks three weeks they were like yeah you I know remember when they gave my laptop like, oh, don't worry follow going it's only be a couple weeks <laughs> 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 we still ain't made it out no. the hood yeah what days bro yeah no, man just sad note not sad note on that day I'm whining on something I don't care 
Raw. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, bro, you know how sinister you sound. Man says anybody what can get it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you play? Play that game. <laughs> what? <No. laughs> Are you alright, bro? No. <laughs> Are you sick? It's what did you hard, say, bro. nigga? Long, bro. bro, Donny said he's whining on Saturn regardless. No, I just need loud music, bro. That's it. I know, I know you're gonna. I know. I, need a few, I know you're gonna catch like a big back thing, crazy. Bro, this. Just, you see what I'm saying? I, I just need to. I just need to fall into the music. And just be absorbed oh. by the moment, bro. Because yeah. mm. I'm, I'm sick of this. But you know what? Bank holiday weekend. There's gonna be something going on anyway. Because by then, they would have eased all restrictions. But we just can't have that yet. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't mind as long as it goes on for 48 hours minimum. Mm. I'm happy. Hmm. I do you want to one year I'll come and link you up like and do the juve thing for the morning and that's what I'm saying yeah. man I'm depressed that should still run though just, just no? don't let my mum no. see you is that not gonna run no because if she sees the but there's gonna, gonna be like independent ones, ones like Dreamland and bed. Jam Juve and that uh, actually it's something it's something was going in my original was me the other day something in the farm yeah so, somewhere out in the fields yeah somewhere something's going no somewhere. reception like yeah you, need to you, you gotta take snaps and save them and post them later <laughs> yeah man I, I've got tickets to one of them still yeah. we gonna see yeah. if they don't cancel it oh, boy. Mm. do you know what I mean so <sighs> the good old days yeah 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 that's why you gotta have your memories man you know but it's not the end man 2022 no, no, we're hopeful we are we're definitely hopeful we're definitely hopeful so I'm waiting for a lot of people a lot of things to bounce back and people to because that is also the, the bit that does scare me when we do get back to some level of normalcy, whatever that's going to look like going forward, all the businesses that have not really had a chance to do them in this period, mm. Mm. how are they going to bounce back and all these like loans and all this, like it was still, I don't, don't want to be like, get everyone like scaremongering up, but we've still got a, a possible mad bleak period yeah. where it's going to be very, very peak. Price of the brick going up. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Let everybody literally know. Literally everywhere. Like Even the price of outside has gone up. Yeah. I'm seeing like, people saying, right, I'm inside. We are, We outside is... It's no longer a saying. We inside. <laughs> you see that? What are we watching segment right now? That is the most listened to part of the podcast. <laughs> yeah. People are inside the house. Yeah, I mean, people still want to enjoy it though. Of you course, know. of course. You just need to know that you have to bring a little bit extra out there. <laughs> no, we, we have that one big thing to go out for that blowout and like, you know, back in the week you could go out, you, you might have stuff your work colleagues on a Friday. You link your normal brothers on like a Saturday. Mm. Now it's like, yo, this day party on this Sunday, meet me here. Be there or be square. You know, because you need something to take the edge off, but at the same time. We out here saying that, be there or be square. I have before. <laughs> Try him, then. What's going on? Try him. Let, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just a funny saying. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just for war, you know, so <laughs> let me know what mood you're in. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but if you ever if we if, if we ever come off the phone yet yeah, and you're like be the help me school <laughs> Yeah, to be fair, I don't think I said it to you. Like <laughs> yeah, nah, um yeah, I'm hearing pints are like eight pounds now and that. Huh? How much is a pint normally? I don't know. I'm not a beer don in it, but the way the like it was eight pounds. The way the Uber driver mm-hmm. was like, Can you believe that pints are eight pounds now? And I was like, huh? Eight pounds? That sounds like a lot. Like a double that, cocktail. Now nah, that is high still. A double for ten oh. for eight pound. But nothing will beat the price where you of. Go, it? Imagine the price of what it will be. Now I'm proud after COVID. Oh, oh my God. days, H. More than your ticket. <laughs> hey, I, I think H was with me at yeah, Proud yeah, yeah, and Bank. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we just looked at each other. Fab. Like my wallet's losing weight. <laughs> 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 Fab. Bro's mad. That was trauma still. Yeah. Yeah, um, get me the strongest drink available. I've Don't been, even chase I've it. Been that no ice. And bro, just, Max, I'm crazy. Just pour the alcohol in my mouth. Like, <laughs> <laughs> sounds yeah. crazy, sounds crazy. The I'm driving sorry. Driving the boat. I'm driving sorry, the boat. Community. I'm sorry, but at this point, this, well, I don't want to cut. Just pour it in my mouth. Mm. I never got my business because there's too much, man. Yeah, nah, inflation there must be crazy. Yeah. But, you know, I think um, the hospitality industry is like, for them to really get back to normal, you got to give it another year, I think, realistically. Very, very true. Yeah. Um. So, 
because like you said they're predicting another wave mm. and I don't know what's going on with like Boris Johnson Matt, Matt Hancock and Dominic Cummings but <laughs> they're not in sync at all bro, Dominic Cum- uh, bro. he's letting the chopper sing fam Bang bro, he's singing like nobody has ever sung before Canary vibes fam that's it ooh <laughs> bro, Donnie's le- leaking group chats. I can't know. Moving like a side thing, man's leaking, le- leaking all the info, screenshots of like basically like he's making Boris Johnson look so incompetent, yeah, and nobody cares. He's making the government look nuts. Yeah, or maybe so the government's making the government though, isn't it? Hmm? Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, the government's making <laughs> the government look nuts. Yeah, that's, that's but, but my thing is like when you got it as clear as day, like Donnie's le- like leaking the group chat messages and it it feels like that was that was like last week's news cycle and it's gone mm. it was hot for like a like 24 hours it was all over my timeline on social media it was in the news and that but it's disappeared like you got someone that was that that was in like he was in bed with you he was that close he knows where all the bodies are buried he, know, he knows what really went on he's revealing the truth obviously for his benefit as well mm. you know but no one really gives a toss <sighs> yeah yeah, it is what it is, man. Like yeah. you know, with with them man at the helm, you just never know. Yeah. But it's sad to think that this is the point that we're at now, where we can look at our whole government and say it is what it is. Like there's no, it it just feels like there's no accountability, and every, everyone's looking at everyone like who's going to lead, who's going to lead, who's going to lead. I don't feel like we're coming out of this even for the next year or so because I think they said they're going to keep restrictions over the winter, of course, because it's flu season. But then if you think about the amount of um, restaurants that will have like large bookings or birthdays and stuff like that. So the smaller, if you're like a smaller business, so to speak, it might be slightly easier, but we can't overlook the amount of um, like revenue people bring in from occasions and celebrating or a 60th birthday or stuff like that. So I feel like even a year is very ambitious. Yeah, the, mm. the Ben and Niger crew must be shaking around. Like, yeah, people like, quick in all them, all them um, those big venues in North London and that. Yeah, that they overcharge us for as well. You know, just just <laughs> saying. Well, certain community doing us bad, but we'll deal with that another day. It's peak for them because the, those, like I said, the big thing aren't happening in it. Them <laughs> venues with seventeen chandeliers. <laughs> 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 and then like, yeah, the Nigerians would like this, <laughs> bro. I'm going to say event. I'm like, bro, there's bare of us in yeah. here. Mm. Like, who's paying for this? Like like two hundred and fifty guests. Yeah, I went to I went to. Of course, the rice is going to be shit. There's too much people to cook for, bro. I went to a wedding in North, five hundred guests. Are you? I don't know that many people, bro. I'm sorry. You don't. Five hundred. You don't know everybody here, and all these people from your mum's church and that. Your mum don't even like them anyway. Send some people home, bro. Ooh, five hundred, bro. Five half a stack. That's crazy, bro. Five hundred to cater to that much that much people. No, yeah. thank you. 400 of them guests don't give a shit about the ceremony. <laughs> they're just here to no, eat. Yeah, but I remember I was at my boy's wedding. I was getting a message just like, oh, what, what, what motive are you at? Bro, can you not fucking see that I'm wearing native, bro? <laughs> 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 What's going on, bro? Bro, I told you about the, the infamous wedding that I went to, innit? And <laughs> oh, oh my what? gosh. Ching, ching, ching. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And then certain Donnie's just like, that I knew just rolled up. Oh yeah, I heard there was a motive. And I was like, right. <laughs> I'm leaving. Yeah, let's go. But the location should have, I would have my antennas up. Oh yeah. 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 It's like, it's like Random it's uncles are trying to send me shopping that. And I was like, you crazy. <laughs> what? Yeah, I remember one auntie, um, they just handed me a car keys, like, oh, the rice is in the back, innit? And I just said, if you give me your, your car keys, you're not gonna find your car. <laughs> <laughs> one of them ones. One of them ones. <laughs> You know, because there's some things that everyone here is like, my children, like, like no, auntie, sorry, you know. Mm. Mm. <laughs>